Hello, I hope that you're so well. So, I'm back. <laughs> I've been devoting a lot of my precious time and energy to my Diamond Codes tier, which has been an amazing experience, life changing, like truly profound. And I've been doing a lot of work on myself as well. So, it's been probably the most life changing, like six weeks maybe ever for me i don't know that's a big statement it's a big call but considering the amount that it has happened for me in six weeks i'd say yeah i think probably of my whole life yeah um so <laughs> i'm excited to connect with you guys again hold on water um yeah we're gonna do a reading for 2022 I'm really keen to just tap into the energy and see what's coming up for you guys in 2022. Personally, ah, I've been doing my own psychic readings of this year and it's a pretty intense time. I feel like magical, beautiful um, and all of these things because it's a six energy and, you know, there's, there's a lot of, uh, you know, beautiful energy in there as well. And there's also... Oof, you know, a lot of evolutionary pressure that we are going to be facing at the same time. So it's kind of like both things, but, you know, maybe that's just Earth. It's always kind of both. Um, so, yeah, we're going to get started with the <laughs> with your 2022 reading. Oh, my goodness. Um, you can still join Diamond Codes if you're curious or if you're in need of some uh, frequency shift there's all of the month of December now and if you join in in January you get all of January as well so there you go <laughs> I'll put the link in the description it's, it's, it's yeah it's like my I've been just pouring my little soul into that space and the community is amazing we have a discord now as well um, so everyone's just like connecting with each other and everyone is just really high vibrational souls come forward. It's, yeah, it's a really unique space. Okay, so I'm going to use this animal deck, animal spirit deck to um, choose which card you're going to get your reading for. All right, is that making sense? I think so. I haven't done this in a while. I'm a bit rusty. <laughs> Actually, I did do a tarot reading for 2022 for Diamond Codes as well. Um, I haven't been posting as much on my Sunflower tier, although there is like two years worth of content there and I am uploading a beautiful like Divine Mother light language that I just filmed today where this beautiful Divine Mother energy frequency came through, connected into the miracle frequency. It was a really profound thing to channel. Very, very like just immersed in love. It was, yeah, amazing. Okay, so ooh, let's do one, two, three, spirit. One, two, three. Group one. <laughs> Armadillo spirit, set healthy boundaries. Card number three. <laughs> Classic. Group number two. Chameleon spirit, act as if. Card number 14. Hmm. Group three, ooh, turtle spirit, slow and steady wins the race. Interesting energies. All right, so we'll just quickly recap. Uh, wait, <laughs> it's a mirrored screen. Okay, so armadillo spirit, number one, set healthy boundaries. Chameleon spirit, number two, group number two, uh, act as if. And group number three, turtle spirit, slow and steady wins the race. So pick which one you feel most called to from your heart. And I'll see you at your reading. Timestamps will be listed below. You know how it works. All right, I'll see you. Hello, Armadillo. This is your reading. Okay. So let us pull you hard <laughs> to get started <laughs> okay uh, 
You feel like an old friend that I'm hanging out with. All right. Seven of fire. Oof. Oof. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> I'm a bit rusty. Hey. No, no, no. Just kidding. Okay, so seven of fire. So <clears throat> I'm using the good tarot, by the way, which is a totally different energy of a tarot uh, deck. My... Um, Um, I just realized that I'm telling you, but okay, my partner actually got this for me. Um, so I recommend this tarot deck because it's really gentle and kind and it, it's called the good tarot because it kind of like shows all the cards in like a beautiful light, right? Whereas I don't know if you know, but <sighs> traditional tarot is friggin full on. Okay, like <laughs> seven of wands in, in say like the right away tarot, traditional tarot, you know, it means something very different to the good tarot. Okay, so disclaimer over getting into your reading. So you're here to set healthy boundaries because you're going in a new direction. Seven of fire is about being unstoppable, but needing to not let other people's opinions of you or perceptions of you really shake your path. Okay, so sometimes you may be unpopular or people might not understand why you're going in this direction. It doesn't make any sense. Blah, 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 blah. You're here to really just be unstoppable in your pursuit of your destiny. And this is why healthy boundaries are important. Okay, because moving forward in this year, I see you stepping up into your divine destiny maybe making some leaps of faith that other people might not understand and you really need to follow that intuitive guidance even if the external reality is being like hey i don't think that's a good idea within your heart you will know okay so the seven of fire is kind of about well it is about doing that thing that scares you and that scares people around you because you feel the light of spirit within your soul and you must follow that destiny, that calling and that yearning that's within you, okay? So some people might be triggered by you, okay, <laughs> this year. Some people might be like, ah, da, 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 da. Take it as um, a sign that you are on the right path, <laughs> all right? That's what spirit's saying. I think as well what I'm picking up, no, I know this as well, what I'm picking up is like you need to have strong boundaries because some people might be jealous of you and project things onto you that could make you sh a bit shaky and we all do this, like I'm guilty of projecting things onto people and <laughs> it's, not a, it's not a great trait but you know it happens sometimes, okay? So I feel you need to have really strong energetic boundaries so that even if people are even potentially purposefully trying to put you down, I see potentially that could happen, okay? Especially if you have allowed a lot of jealous uh, friends around you or if that's a history of things you attract into your realm. Setting those boundaries is really important this year so that you can actually step up into who you came here to be more fully more fully into that embodiment yeah and you're going to be unstoppable <clears throat> i feel like you're going to have a taste of your own destiny like uh your own destiny path i should say you're going to feel it and you're going to know it and you're going to be like i don't give a heck who else around me doesn't you know see this for me i see this for me and i have to follow this it's like this this compulsion from your heart space and I think it's going to be fun. I think you're going to feel excited about being a little bit more, you know, risky, not playing it so safe, not doing the normal thing that all the normies are doing. Like, I think it's going to actually fulfill you in a huge way. And even if it might feel kind of scary at first and you might feel a bit triggered, remembering those energetic boundaries, remembering that, you know, other people's energy impacts us, you know, this is the other thing. We, that's why we need to have really strong boundaries because <laughs> our timelines can literally shift through our energy 
uh, through being met with someone else's energy or someone else's opinion. Like, <clears throat> this is why if I'm manifesting something really important, I often won't talk about it until it's manifest because, you know, people have their own poverty consciousness or they have their own, you know, fear or doubt playing out and they might not fully be able to understand, you know, why you're doing that <laughs> or if it, they won't think it's possible and even though you have a clear sense from spirit yes it's possible that this is what i'm here to do someone else's energy coming into that sacred space can disrupt the frequency of it and it can shift the timeline it might delay the thing or it could even sabotage it to some extent so it's really important i would say you know be very mindful and wise about who your confidence are this year Okay, where are you being called to journey to? Uh, yes, <laughs> you're going to have a soul calling that's just going to be like so flippin' loud. You're not going to be able to ignore it really at all. You're just going to feel like I must follow this intuition, this intuitive calling, this path. This is why I'm here. There is, you know, no way of escaping or avoiding this anymore. <laughs> Okay, interesting. I'm gonna pull you a Moonology card as well. Yeah, okay, so don't let your past hold you back. So if you're worried, like, I don't know, I've never done this before, how is this possible? You're stepping into unknown territory, but <sighs> when you pursue something that truly inspires you, that truly lights up your soul light energy, that you feel like really aligns to your self-expression and your truth and all these things. There is this unstoppable energy that will flow through you and you can achieve things that is beyond what is humanly possible because you're aligning to spirit and you're letting that energy come through you. And it builds momentum more easily than you would think. And yeah, maybe for the first little while, you're gonna be a bit uncomfortable and you're gonna think, how is this, you know, how am I doing? Like, what's going on? And it might bring up the anxiety or you might be a little bit stressed or triggered sometimes. But ultimately, we are here to expand beyond what we know. Imagine if we just stayed in the same energy of, for our whole existence. What a waste of a life, you know? One thing Spirit's been showing me recently is how precious our time on earth is. It's actually so precious. It is a gift that we are here. And I know it's hard and I know there's suffering and I, I get it. But we are given this opportunity to experience Earth as a physical realm. And we are given the opportunity to shift and change Earth in the ways that we see we would like to see the change. You are here to be the change that you would like to see in the world. And you must take action. Okay, your guides are coming through right now. They're saying, you must take action. You must. Don't let your past hold you back. Your past is your past. I'm sure you don't want to relive that, right? So stop bringing it in. <laughs> your guides are being <laughs> very with you. This is your year. Leap of faith. Time to act. Enough procrastination. It's time now, okay? What is your soul calling you to really step into? And aligning, you know, you haven't even let that energy fully come through yet. You've had glimpses and tastes of it, but it's gonna be just like a, a waterfall of, of life force. You're gonna be able to get everything done and have extra time, you know? You're gonna be working at a really different frequency than anyone around you. And this is another reason you need to have strong boundaries because other people will be like, oh, you're taking on too much or I don't think you can do that and da da da. And they're speaking about it from the past you that they've known and witnessed. And the past you that they've known and witnessed, you are playing into their, their games, right? You're playing into their perceptions of you and you are playing small. And that's done now. You're ready to step up. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what else is 2022 about for group one spirit? Queen of Cups. You're kidding. Seven of Wands again. Seven of Fire is um, Seven of Wands. <laughs> so you got it double double. Okay, so interesting. Seven of Wands in this deck is more about having to fight or what I'm picking up because every 
little hint about tarot. <laughs> Every time a card comes through, it has a different meaning depending on how you intuit it and the circumstances and such. So anyway, you're here to fight for what you want. You're here to fiercely carve out the space in the world that you wish to exist in, okay? I'm seeing that potentially in the past, uh, inaction has plagued you, okay? It's been, there's been a plague of inaction <laughs> and your guides are like, enough. It's time to act and we must act to see change. I think there can be some, you know, illusions in the spiritual communities around surrender and, you know, just letting it be. And it's like, no, don't accept something if you do not accept it as it is. Do the work to change that. You have the power and you can't expect your guides to change something for you. Okay, you must be the change. The universe will meet you there in that action, but the universe cannot take action for you, okay? You must be the one to act. Queen of Cups, remembering to have compassion, nurturing yourself, mothering yourself. If you've come from a history with your past, you know, of maybe not caring so much for your needs or, you know, I'm talking about needs as in love needs or compassion needs or maybe not nourishing yourself and off with food, these basic things. This is the year to break that spell, to recognize that you are worthy and you have it already there. It's like you already are compassionate to all these people. It's like just about turning that energy back in. Yeah, you got this. I feel like procrastinating this year will only lead to you feeling anxious and the action is what is going to create the clarity, okay? The action is what is going to create the clarity for you. If you're sitting and you're like, I don't know which direction to go, I don't know if it's this or if it's that or if I should begin here or begin there, just begin. And if it's the wrong thing, oh well, at least you took the courageous first step and did something, okay? There's no judgment from spirit, but spirit still is encouraging you to act, to take action, to use the precious gift of choice and, and to, to, to experience choice. But choice is action. Choice is different to like, you know, a decision in our mind of like, hey, I'm going to do this thing. That's just in your mind. A choice is when we bring it into the 3D and we take the action towards that, okay? That is what I'm getting from this reading spirit. It's like, take the action, take the action, take the action, take the action, begin, take the leap, do it. And this could be in any realm of your life, okay? relationships, business, art. 2022 for group one spirit. <laughs> you guys, stop worrying. Everything's going to be fine. You are predicting a bad outcome based on past events that were really painful. And you can have compassion for yourself in, in navigating through that because that is hard. I'm not saying it's not. But spirit is t telling you, you got a bright future and please stop worrying because everything is going to be fine. Seriously, it's all going to be fine. The fear is in your head and that's why the procrastination feels so shit because you're just sitting in that fear of like, what if it all goes wrong? What if I'm embarrassed? What if it fails? What if no one turns up to my show? Whatever. That feels so bad because our mind is telling us all these stories and our body and our being is experiencing it emotionally as if it's flipping happening right then right but if you take the action and even if you face something that is hard you know at least you learn and grow from it and we must take action and we must grow from things even if we get it wrong it doesn't matter you know we're always going to get things wrong we have to have the humility to be able to get things wrong in order to get things right <laughs> it's our ego that holds us back and says i don't want to be made a fool of i don't want to be judged i don't want people not to like me who cares? You have a bigger destiny than that, right? Yes, you know you do. Okay, so balancing that masculine and that feminine energy, Queen of Cups is our compassion. And then the Seven of uh, Wands, Seven of Fire energy is like that spirit guided ambition and action. And just, yes, this is it. I'm gonna fucking go after that and carve out my space in the world. It's no good being passive, okay? Being passive, okay, so there's, there's a lot that's going on, right? There's a lot that can be going on. 
But for you right now, being passive is not going to serve you. If you're looking around at the world and you're like, I don't like the way things are, or if you're looking around at your life and thinking, I don't like the way things are, do something to change it. Come on. <laughs> I feel, <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, four of water and the nine of water. Okay, so four in water from this good tarot is about when there's a there's a period of inaction and it actually allows you to dream bigger right it allows you to dream bigger so don't be hard on yourself if you have had inaction <laughs> or you've been procrastinating or whatever spirit saying that period of time where you were potentially procrastinating etc you know what i'm trying to say it actually has been able to create a foundation where you can build bigger now okay nine of water as well interesting nine of water is in this deck it's about saying no to things that aren't serving you it is right for me to say no to the things in my life that aren't serving me that's what i'm feeling for you so it might be a really hard decision to make because you have to walk away from something that you have long relied upon and spirit is saying yes it's hard but don't let your past hold you back don't think that because that thing is a sure you know i know that this is always going to be there or this i've been at this job for so long don't let that kind of narrative hold you back, okay? Do what you came here to do and what you feel passionate about. All right, I need to take a break and get some water because it's really fucking hot in here. Hold on. Okay, so I'm back. I feel replenished. <laughs> so I pulled you a chakra card just to check in on like what might be going on this year for you. And we got the sacral chakra for you, okay? So sacral chakra, what I'm getting from this is that you need to allow your life to flow. And sometimes that involves change. And sometimes that change feels really scary. And sometimes it takes you into territory that you've never been. And sometimes that feels like it's not the right thing to do because it brings up fear. And then the fear blocks the clarity and it creates confusion. But when confusion is present, it's because you're not acknowledging a truth that is present within yourself, okay? And it creates confusion because we're turning away from a truth. Of course, we're going to be confused, but it's given us the answer. We're ignoring it. We're like, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Spirit's like, I already fucking told you what to do, okay? <laughs> All right, so allowing your life to flow so that you can bring in greater enjoyment, greater pleasure so that you can enjoy this precious time on earth that you're here for this precious life okay whatever is blocking your joy is blocking your flow because we're meant to be flowing in joy <laughs> and sometimes what's blocking our joy and our flow is that we need to set boundaries and we need to take a step back for a second and we need to reassess things and we need to regroup and then we come back in with a fresh attitude and etc etc okay Spirit's really on at you about following your creative path. Now, creativity can mean different things for everyone. I'm not saying it has to be a, you know, music or whatever, but for a lot of you, it will be something like that. <laughs> Just diving right into that. What brings you joy? Truly ask yourself that because what are we here on earth for? Are we here to have a shit time and hate it? No, of course not. <laughs> Definitely not. We're here to have fun and let life force flow through our beings and do the things that light us up and inspire us and that we feel we're creatively sharing our unique voice in the world, our unique, you know, fingerprint, blueprint, etc. There's a siren going past. That is a sign. <laughs> that is a sign that it's like, spirit is like, come on, what are you waiting for? It's okay, let's keep going. That's how your guides are coming through me. You know, I I can't I can't dim that message. It's like they're saying, come on. Interesting. Dance with life. Do something to change your energy. Dance with life. And that is perfect with the sacral chakra. Sacral chakra for me is about dancing, it's about movement, it's about embodiment, it's about 
uh, the pleasurable like aspect of living on earth you know earth is a unique experience we don't acknowledge that enough we just focus on all the fucking shit of it right and yeah we need to balance out we can't be living in illusion and being like there's nothing wrong with what's going on in earth it's like no of course there's things wrong and we need to address that and we need to emotionally process that and sometimes it's hard because it's easier to keep our head in the clouds and think whatever it doesn't matter it matters definitely but we're not here to have a shit time. Definitely not. <laughs> the energy I'm getting from you is something like, and it won't be like this for everyone, but it's something like, you know, you've been working at this old job for a long time and you know, it's good, it pays good, it's secure. You know, you feel like it's gonna be there forever. So you're like, damn, like why would I leave something that's really setting me up and it could support me to do my art on the side or something like that. But your soul is calling you and it's saying, hey, I don't want to get up and work today. I don't feel like it. This feels like shit. I'm tired. I've given all my energy to this company. I can't go on like this. I need to express myself. I need to align. You are not a physical being only. You're a soul having a physical experience. When your soul calls you, you must listen. You must, you must listen, you must, okay? <laughs> Be honest with yourself. What is your heart's true desire? Keyword here being be honest with yourself, right? What do you authentically desire? Not what looks good on paper or la 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 because who knows in the world there is no such thing as certainty okay even though you think maybe you know for example the job thing it's like well this is a sure thing maybe it's not maybe it's not who knows you know we don't actually know that so be honest with yourself what is your heart's true desire okay <laughs> it's making me think about bob proctor um Someone was showing me Bob Proctor the other day and it was talking about the types of goals that we have. And there's so many different approaches to like law of attraction and manifestation, but for some reason this is coming through right now, okay? Bob Proctor, right, it's like talking about there's like A goals, B goals, and C goals. A goals is something you know you can do, like your job. <laughs> like maybe you're like, maybe I could get a promotion at my job, maybe get a little bit more money. So it's something you know you can do, or it's something you've done before. So you're like, yeah, tick that box, know how to do it, definitely can achieve that. A B goal is something you, okay, wait. An A goal is something you've done before, so you know you can do it. A B goal is something that you're like, I'm pretty sure I can do this. So it doesn't really scare me that much because I'm pretty sure I can achieve this. You know, like whatever, buying a car. You're like, I've never bought a car before, you know, but I know that I could save up the money and it wouldn't actually be that hard. So I'm pretty sure I can do that. You know, a C goal <laughs> is something you really want to do, but you're like, this is fucking impossible. How the fuck am I going to do this? No one's ever done this before or you know, no one in my family has ever done this or no one in my community has ever taken a risk like this or it's a crazy thing to do. Everyone will think that I'm insane. But guess what? Seagulls are the things that light us up inside. They bring in the most life force energy which equates to the most divine assistance for us to achieve them. Even if we feel like they're absolutely impossible. If they light up your soul and your spirit, then of course it's possible. You know, it's probably more possible than you even think. Let's get another Moonology card about this year for you. Your commitment is being tested and then back of the deck, step out of your comfort zone. <laughs> yeah, step out of your comfort zone. Your commitment is being tested. Let's get one card to clarify that. Page of Pentacles, manifestation, exactly. What do you actually want? That's the other thing. Sacral chakra is also about manifestation. What do you actually want to manifest? Don't manifest something you already know you can manifest. Oh, I already know I can do this. It's safe. It's a sure thing. Maybe it's not a sure thing, right? We already discussed that. We don't, we don't know in life. Imagine if you committed to like, whatever, letting go of this dream of yours and just like committing to that, you know, safe option. And then that safe option that you thought was a sure thing just fell apart and you're like, fuck, <laughs> now I'm in a worse position. Because guess what? 
spirit gets really fucked with us if we don't do what our soul came here to do. Like, I know that there's such a thing as free will, obviously. <laughs> it's like one of the main things about existence. We have free will, I get it. But haven't you noticed that if you ever step out of alignment, or at least this has been the case in my life, if I step out of alignment and I don't listen to spirit and I don't listen to what my soul is calling me to do, and I try to walk that path that's not in alignment, spirit just keeps blocking me and blocking me and just like forcing me back into the aligned path. And, and those safe options that we think is like, yeah, this is, well, this makes sense, you know, logically it makes sense and this path doesn't make sense logically or whatever. If we go down that thing and we subvert our soul destiny, spirit will sometimes just take that away from us. Be like, hmm, no, not anymore. You've been here too long. You've been doing this shit too long. Come on. <laughs> That's how spirit works sometimes. So your commitment is being tested. Your commitment to your soul, though, to your soul, you know, to your soul. Who are you? You're a soul. You're a freaking soul. <laughs> you are not a slave. You're a soul. Okay? You have sovereign choice. Okay? Warrior woman. Oh my God, your guides are like, ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Warrior woman, have you answered your deepest calling? There you go. By the end of this year, I think you can say yes to this. Yes, I have. Yes, I'm, I'm answering my deepest calling. Yes, I'm aligned to my divine destiny. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> All right, so let's pull you one more card to finish with Spirit. Which deck are we gonna do? All right, we're gonna do another goddess deck. I mean card, because these ones are nice. Okay. Compassion. Release judgments about yourself and others and focus on the love and light that is within everyone. Quan Yin. Compassion. Okay, so what I'm getting from this is the Queen of Cups energy that came through before. You're, you might be judging yourself because you're feeling like it's such a big deal, like making this change or taking this leap of faith or doing this thing you really want to do. You know, you're judging yourself because you're like, I haven't done it yet and I keep putting it off and it makes it harder to do. and Spirit saying like, what if you treated this transition through like the heart of the Divine Mother? What if you could love and nurture yourself through this time, just like a Divine Mother would love and nurture you through this time, right? What if you could give to yourself this beautiful Queen of Cups, compassionate, loving, heart-based energy of non-judgment? Not judging yourself for what has come, uh, what has been <laughs> but just aligning to the truth of where you're going because like I said there's no need to judge ourselves if we get things wrong or if we take a little bit of time to get there there's no, no, no need to judge it everything's divine right but it's about being honest what did your soul come here to do what did your soul come here to experience and are you blocking that for yourself or not Okay, <laughs> let's pull one more from this angel deck. Abundance, okay. Yeah. Spirit wants you to know that your soul destiny path is one of great abundance because it is, because it is, because it is, you know, abundance in every, every area. The more embodied we are with our truth, the more um, aligned to our um soul we are like the choices we make the actions we take right aligned to who we are as a soul the more abundance we actually create for ourselves that's the truth of things the way that the universe works it is not taught to us as it should be okay we should all have this knowledge because it's very empowering and i believe that it's actually purposefully suppressed because imagine if each and every one of us was an empowered little sovereign soul walking around <laughs> rather than all this conditioning that's like fear i can't do it it's not gonna work i'm not good enough you know it's like nah the truth is you've always been good enough your soul destiny is one of great abundance walk into it now it's yours 
<laughs> okay, group one, I wish you all the best for 2022 and I'll see you in this space soon, all right? Bye bye, take care. Hello, group two. I'm really curious about your group because chameleon spirit act as if. It's very intriguing, okay? So let me just, I think I didn't put that microphone on very well. Hold on. Ah. Oh my God. Whatever, it's good enough. <laughs> All right, so where are we gonna begin, Spirit? One, two, three, three. Okay, so group two, what is 2022 all about for group two? Okay, interesting. Don't back down. Stand up for what you believe is right. Bridget. <laughs> and Bridget actually is a goddess of strength. Um, she's holding this fire energy in this depiction of her and feel like there's this, yeah, fiery energy coming through you where it's like, it's interesting because the chameleon spirit would, would hint that you're here to kind of blend in a bit. But I also feel with this Bridget energy of stand up for what you believe is right and don't back down. You're almost here to differentiate from the group think, the, the, the collective consciousness and like bring through your true voice, what it is you truly believe or how you see things in the world so that you can make a difference, okay? Because going along with something that you don't agree with is really bad karma, pretty much. So you must, if you don't believe in something, this is what, stand up for what you believe is right. If you believe something is wrong and you still act in accordance with that thing you believe is wrong, you know, that's, I want to be honest with you, like, that is a pretty tough place for the soul to be. It, you know, it creates these energetic blocks and hurdles that we have to alchemize and it drains us and it's unnecessary. You have free will. And yeah, it might be that you need to be uh, wise about how you proceed and that you might need to blend in a little bit more than you would like to and maybe appear as if you are going along with things even if you don't fully agree with it but ultimately you must stand up for what you believe is right because it is what you came here to do okay and if you want something like say in the world you want you want you know, you want something in the world. I don't know what example to give that isn't like incredibly polarizing and triggering to everybody. But if you want something in the world, I'm not even gonna give an example, because fuck it. If you want something in the world, but you act in the opposite way to what you want, then how do you expect it to come to be? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And I know that it's like basic, but actually pretty much most of us on earth in some degree are acting towards something that we don't want. And it's like, what are we doing? It's, it's, it's insanity. It's, it's cognitive dissonance. It's, it's, it's actually really fucked up. <laughs> it's like the example I could give is like, if you believe that like hunting animals is wrong, but you're like, but I still go out with my family every month and like kill deer. It's like, what are you doing? If you don't believe in it, why are you creating that on earth? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> we gotta get honest with ourselves. How are we creating things that we don't agree with? How are we participating in things that we don't agree with? I made a whole video about this for my crown chakra video on my Diamond Codes Patreon and I went deep and some people got triggered and I get it. I was triggered too, but I had to change so that I could stop being triggered by the truth and actually just align. Sometimes it's hard and scary and it's easier to be a chameleon and just be like, I'm just doing what everyone else is doing. Don't look at me. But it's like, you are an individual soul. You didn't come here to be like everybody else. If you aren't expressing that uniqueness, then what are you doing? <laughs> okay, your guides are coming through. Ah, oh, shit. So 2022, don't back down. No, stand up for what you believe is right because who else is going to? Who else can see things the way you can? 
Who else can put words to things the way you can? No one. You're a unique soul. You have so much value. Wheel of Fortune. Things are turning for you in a positive way. But you want to be on the positive side of this wheel, okay? Because sometimes action can feel hard, but inaction is still a choice and it can lead to harder circumstances, right? We all kind of intuitively know this, but we still like elude ourselves and we're like, no, I'm still just gonna not do anything though. You know? <laughs> so Spirit's saying there's huge change coming for you this year, but align to it. You know, take that, take that, um, take that stand. Don't back down, stand for what you believe is right. You are strong enough. That's the other message coming through. You are a very strong person, a very strong soul. Let's see what else might be a theme for you in 2022 so I can get a better understanding of what, what you're going to go through. And keep in mind that when we have knowledge of future events or we have knowledge of future frequencies, even just our knowledge of it and our knowing of it can change it. So feel empowered by this reading, you know. You're here to make big <laughs> waves in the world. Wow. You're here to really make big waves in the world. Wheel of Fortune. I mean, hello. Ooh. <laughs> Don't let your past hold you back. This came out in group one and I was actually feeling a slightly similar energy from group one. So uh, you might want to go back and watch group one as well. I don't know if you felt drawn to it. Maybe you're here from group one. Hello. <laughs> Um, don't let your past hold you back, South Node. Yeah, it's scary to make changes. It's scary to, you know, say, well, I always complied and now I'm not complying anymore. But it's worth it, you know, it's worth it. Allow yourself the opportunity to change. Sometimes our ego feels threatened and it's like, we want to cling on to the old way because that's what our ego knows and has identified with and it's like, it's not going well. I need to. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god, now I'm fucking my top up. Okay, perfect. Our ego identifies with the old ways of being, and even if someone comes in and we see the truth of it and we're like, holy shit, that's true, we still like might go with the old because our ego is like, no, it's we can just do the old thing. And it's like, come on, come on, <laughs> take a risk, bring love into the situation and back of the deck, don't let, your, don't let pride get in your way. Yeah, that's what I was channeling about the ego thing. Don't let pride get in your way, like, Take a stand, let yourself be seen. Let yourself be seen and heard and witnessed. Bring love into the situation. Let's clarify that. The devil. <laughs> and back of the deck is judgment. Are you serious? Okay, so you can see things that are going on in the world and you can bring love into people's hearts and potentially help people see that too. Even if they don't agree and they won't act on it or whatever, you can still make a difference with, your, with how you see things through your love, through your heart as well. Because there is a lot of uh, devil energy in the world, okay? If you, if you really look into it, it is quite astounding, quite astounding what is going on. Seriously, like, <sighs> mind-blowing. <laughs> mind-blowing but there's also judgment here okay and do you know what judgment talks about it talks about our soul review when our soul looks back on our life choices and says hmm, this one oh you didn't do this you didn't do this and what is that that's like our karma and that's something I've had to face recently as well if we know something and we don't speak about it <sighs> you know if we have knowledge that someone else doesn't hold we i feel and this is what i have really had to face we have a responsibility to speak about it to speak to that person and tell them and it doesn't matter if they don't believe you or if they don't take it on or if they're like you're crazy or you're delusional whatever 
that that's not important it's about your relationship with your soul and your truth and stepping up in that moment and having that hard conversation and saying hey this is what i know and i need you to know this so that my calm is clear i don't care if you follow my advice i would love it if you did i can't deny that because my heart is invested in you as a soul as well but ultimately you have free will you can do what you want but i need to know that I have stood up for what I believe is right and cleared my karmic responsibility to speak the knowledge that I have, okay? Seriously, it is important. And it's something, a huge lesson that I've learned recently is that I must speak up. Even if I think that the person's not gonna get it or they're not gonna appreciate it or they're gonna hate it or they're gonna be triggered by it or they're gonna tell me I'm crazy or da 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 Get rid of that ego and just speak. You might be surprised as well at how that person receives it. Or it might be exactly as how you thought it would, they would. <laughs> you don't know. But you also have to give them the opportunity. Imagine if you were a soul, right? I mean, you are a soul. <laughs> Imagine if it was you who didn't know something and someone in your life knew something that would greatly help you, but you didn't say anything. I mean, but they didn't say anything to you. And it, and it, and it, and because they were like, oh, they're not going to get it and they're not going to care. And what happened? You chose certain things and it led you down a path and you look back on your life and you're like, wow, why didn't that person just tell me that thing they knew? And then it shifts the responsibility, right? It's an energetic thing, it's an energetic transference. Now, there are certain people or relationships where it's potentially unsafe or, you know, inappropriate. To say anything and that you can use your own discernment with but for people that you love or like your parents or you know friends if you are planning on continuing that relationship with them you have to be honest you do you have to have those hard conversations and just clear it and be like okay you know you don't have to you don't have to get it that's okay like I love you anyway but I just needed to say that you know because judgment is real. And I'm not talking about the judgment of someone who doesn't understand what you're saying. I'm talking about divine judgment, okay? And it's not a harsh thing, but it's about your soul reviewing your own soul. <laughs> like people who have near-death experiences or who literally die briefly and then come back into their body. They consistently talk about seeing the la their life and the sum of their the sum total of their choices and seeing and identifying all the places that they got it wrong that they made the mistake you know that they failed that test or that lesson and a lot of the time you know it is a hard thing to do and it is a hard conversation and it does trigger us and it brings up past life memories and you know we think that the devil's going to come get us <laughs> or something you know but it is your soul's responsibility to share what it is that you know. And like I said, some places or spaces, it's not appropriate. Some people, it's not okay, you know, to do that because, you know, for whatever reason, maybe they're like abusive or something like that. And it's like, you know, you don't have, you don't have to do that. You don't have to go there and put yourself into danger or risk or harm or anything like that. But you'll know who it is that you need to speak to or in what situation you need to step up and be courageous and say something, okay? Because it's kind of just like, if you're watching someone get beaten up and you don't say anything, you're just there like, yeah, mm, I'm just gonna watch. It's like, no, you can't, that, you are just as guilty in that situation, do you know what I mean? It's like, you're the bystander who doesn't intervene. <laughs> we, don't, we don't identify with that, right? When we're, we're not like, yeah, but that's not me. I'm not the bystander. I would always st stand up and speak up, but it's like, I had to get honest with myself as well. I was like, well, am I? Am I or not? And I had to align and it was hard, <laughs> but it's worth it. Okay. I really, I really feel that for you. Okay. What else is coming for you this year? Four of Swords, rest, meditation, contemplation and some deep soul searching yeah some deep soul searching 
about the nature of right action. That's what I feel. You know, you don't have to, even in the card you chose, you got act as if. What is act? It's an action. It's something we take action towards, right? So I think spirit is asking you to just slow down and consider like, what am I creating? What am I co-creating in this reality? Do I want to co-create this in my reality? Or examine some of those uh, beliefs in the brain that maybe are sabotaging you in some way or whatever or something like that <laughs> all right four of earth interesting and the queen of air four of earth spirit saying what you have is is built on a solid foundation i'm getting the image of like someone who studied something for like 20 years you know this inside out. Even if like you freeze in the moment of trying to use your voice and say something, you know, you know what is right. And it might not come out perfectly, but just do it. <laughs> the rug won't be pulled out from under you. You won't be, you know, spirit will guide you. If you follow spirit's guidance, and if you have a really strong intuition of like, I'm not meant to say anything right now, then that is your intuition. There's nothing wrong with that, you know? But it's about when you feel that call, you're like, I have to have a conversation with someone. I have to share this, even though it's vulnerable. Then do it. You know, we kind of must in a way. Queen of Air, having, yeah, trusting in your ability to discern. That's what this is talking about. Trusting in your ability to discern that will carry you through. You have a very bright mind. You're very intelligent and you can help people in the way that you see things. And Spirit's asking you to please share that. And it might not be with everyone, like I keep saying, <laughs> but it's still important. Okay, let's see. What else is coming for you in 2022? Compassion. This came out in the other group. <laughs> Interesting. Release judgments about yourself and others and focus on the love and light that is within everyone. Okay, so not judging yourself for any times that you've acted even though you didn't agree with what you were acting towards or what you were co-creating through those actions, right? Forgive, forgive that. It's about moving forward with this new light of, of awareness and aligning to that new light of awareness, yeah? And releasing judgments about others as well. Other people have free will, you know, they might not get you or they might not understand. It's not about judging them, it's about respecting that they have free will and they might have a very different soul destiny than yours, you know? Compassion. <laughs> Group two, 2022 spirit. Get grounded. Mm -hmm. Empaths, highly sensitive, connect with nature. Get grounded. I love that. Yeah, get grounded. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You are empathic and I think, you know, you're, you're deeply empathic and compassionate. And I think that sometimes that's a burden because you feel, you know, you, you, can, you have awareness that other people don't have. And then you see them choosing things that, you know, you're like, oh my God, like, you know, it's hard. It's hard. But your empathy is a gift and you can use it as such. It doesn't have to consume you. You know, you can use it for the right thing. Definitely. Um, get grounded. You're highly sensitive. Yes. Maintain your connection with nature and with this earth. Don't try to escape this earth through whatever escapist things <laughs> go on. Stay here. You're needed here. That's what spirit wants to tell you. You're needed here. You're really needed here. What else can they look forward to in 2022, Spirit? Soulmate, I was picking this up actually. I do think you have a love relationship coming in. I really do. A lot of you guys already feel this. So I've been getting psychic messages about this. It's a soulmate energy, part of your soul family, and it's gonna feel really nourishing. Anything else you wanna say about this soulmate, Spirit? Purification. It's time for a cleansing detoxification of your body and mind. Okay, so there might be a few little things that need to shift so that you can get into the vibrational frequency so that you can meet them. 
and it might be multiple people and for some of you who are already in a loving relationship uh, it still might be a love relationship spirit said <laughs> sorry <laughs> um, but it also might be um, you know like a soul family as well energy but for some of you it's going to be a soulmate first and then the soul family thing is going to come a bit later so you might want to actually look into detoxing um, I'm planning on making a video about this because I've been detoxing like intensely recently and it's really really helpful like physical body detoxing um, although when we have toxins in us they impact our connection to spirit and our channel and our mind and our emotions and everything so you know all right so I'm gonna end the reading there I need to go get some water <laughs> um, I'm sending you so much love for 2022. I hope it's a really beautiful year for you and I hope these messages have served you in some way. And yeah, take care of yourself, right? Hey, group three, slow and steady wins the race. Turtle. So you've been doing some really deep healing, like incredibly deep soul level healing. Soul level meaning, you know, healing, healing that goes beyond time and space is what I mean. And I pulled you a chakra card for 2022 and you got the solar plexus chakra, okay? So what I'm feeling with this slow and steady wins the race as well is that it's really important to be mindful that you aren't being excessively forceful with yourself. I feel that you have a lot of ambition, maybe not even the regular kind of ambition, but you know, the kind of ambition of like, I'm here to heal and be of service in the world. You know, that's the kind of energy I'm picking up from you and it's like super admirable. But at the same time, I'm feeling, you know, it's important to slow and steady wins the race right you can't force yourself into things because it does it blocks the flow and spirit wants you to be in flow because when you're in flow state she can or spirit can more easily come through you with life force energy and assist you and etc so there's a need to balance the masculine and the feminine energies within and tuning into the heart is one of the greatest ways of doing that doing breath work as well i feel is really aligned to you right now there's an energy in you that's very quick, it's very speedy. And even as I'm channeling your energy, I'm like And it's super fun and I like it. But Spirit's saying, you know, don't go through these cycles of like intense energy and then intense burnout, right? And rest. Implementing rest throughout your routine will actually get you to that higher frequency, which means that you can hold that higher frequency for longer. And it's difference, there's a difference between rest and like needing boundaries, right? Boundaries are something totally different and I feel like you're actually pretty good with boundaries. So I feel like this is actually more about forcing yourself sometimes to rest, not forcing yourself to take action when you feel tired, but honoring those dips in your energy because like I said, it's actually going to help you maintain a higher frequency overall. It can be kind of counterintuitive, right? Because you're like, but I know what I need to do and I just have to do it all right now. And it's like, spirit knows that there are physical limitations in this 3d reality in this earth realm you know even though earth isn't really just 3d we're here with the 4d and the 5d and everything really going on but there are physical limitations and that doesn't have to be a burden or a barrier that can be something enjoyable like think about how good it feels to sleep optimizing your sleep so that it's more enjoyable for you so that you have deeper periods of rest and so that you feel that snuggly energy of sleep you know what I mean <laughs> where it feels really good feels really nice and nourishing sleep is important for you in 2022 because you've got a lot of action to take and you already know that uh, you're being initiated into a deeper level of your soul destiny before and it involves a very important um, role that you're here to play on earth okay and part of that as well is that your solar plexus chakra it needs to be aligned it needs to be at the center of the belly okay so the solar plexus chakra exists above the belly button when we are excessively striving and forcing and you know not allowing ourselves to rest or you know whatever the solar plexus chakra goes out of balance because it becomes overactive and we might even be aggressive or harsh with ourselves or others okay and so the solar plexus chakra will then sit at the front of the belly similarly if 
if we struggle or if anyone struggles with excessive passivity, non-action, um, letting people walk all over you or you know that kind of energy, then the solar plexus sits back. It sits at the back of the spine. This is what I've been shown in my own um, visions of when I'm healing people. So it's really important to, let me just say, I don't mean healing people, but like co-creating healing energy with another soul, okay? Because no one ever heals you. You always heal yourself. Let me just make that clear. <laughs> but I feel for you more so you have the overactive solar energy, okay? So it's needing to temper that, coming back into alignment and balance and feeling okay with rest. Finding the pleasure of rest and enjoying it more. Queen of Wands. <laughs> Let's clarify and pull a couple more cards. Ten of Wands, exactly. The Hermit, exactly. <laughs> okay, so Queen of Wands. You've got this magnetic, fiery energy and you're inspired and you can channel this frequency through you and you've got this life force and it's awesome and it's awesome and it's awesome. But then it becomes overwhelming and a burden and you're like bruh, bruh, bruh. okay and that's when it's time to retreat be a hermit take time away from people from whatever you can take time away from that's reasonable and do that soul searching to recharge and nourish yourself okay because if we keep forcing when we're in this space of ten of wands when it's like look at this imagery he's carrying all of these fucking wands and he's like this is so annoying <laughs> if we force through in this time in this energy we create misalignment we go out of alignment so there's really no point you know if I look back on the times in my life where I forced things to happen pretty much you know I would just it wouldn't happen like even though I tried to use my earthly will and force things Spirit would just be like, yeah, no, it's not going to happen. It would just fall through. Or if I forced myself to film a video, I would not been, wouldn't be able to upload it because it would be shit or something like that. <laughs> when we work, when we're in alignment, even if that means taking more rest than we feel comfortable with, it feels scary, I'm letting go, oh my God. It actually allows us to be more productive. You know, it's the counterintuitive answer and it's going to heal this overactive solar plexus energy in you. Okay, because I think that it comes from trauma. I think it comes from, you know, people uh, in your life, maybe school authority figures, even parents, you know, being excessive about striving or achievement or, you know, you always have to be better or work more or do better, you know. <sighs> Solar plexus shadow energy as well is perfectionism, right? So it's about seeing that you are already good enough we are always going to work on ourselves life that's what life is about on earth you know we're never quite there yet i guess until we're in line and then we're done <laughs> you know and i see you have a really incredible destiny path for yourself and i think you know that and i think that's why you always want to work on it because you're like yes 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 right <sighs> but knowing like you have a whole lifetime you know <laughs> Let's pull this from this deck. This is the deck that has a, a life's work, uh, not a season, get off the treadmill. I love that card, it feels relevant to you right now. Okay, so we got leap, you go first and the universe will catch you. Oh my gosh, lighting. Hello. There we go. Star mother, how can you mother yourself? Okay, so seeing as these came out together, I think that potentially you're really good at taking leaps and pushing yourself to be courageous and such. The leap might be more about leaping into that unknown experience for you, which is taking time out or quitting a job <laughs> that you don't resonate with anymore or um, resting even though you have a to-do list you know that kind of leap because I'm seeing you know you the hermits come through for you for 2022 right so 
taking time out, taking time away to realign. Because like I said, if you keep forcing in that space of doing, 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 you just end up creating more and more misalignment within your life, which doesn't feel good. You know, ultimately, who cares about the product productivity and the to-do list? It doesn't feel good. You know, when we're out of alignment, it feels shit and we feel drained. And, and then it's like we're digging even deeper and we're draining ourselves even more and we're not even getting to where we think we're going to get to. <laughs> when we work in alignment, which is when we have spirit on our side, you know, we're just flowing. We're getting so much done. It's like we're not even human at that point. Like we're getting so much done. It's not even humanly possible. We're just like, here we are. Yes, go, go. <laughs> it feels good, you know. Working on your perfectionism as well with this leap of faith, maybe an um, opportunity is going to come up for you, a new relationship, a new job, uh, a new thing that you want to do. And maybe you're going to be like, but I'm not perfect yet. I'm not perfect yet. You don't have to be perfect yet. OK, there's like a lot of ideas in around that you know for you to meet your like ultimate soul partner you have to have done all the work on yourself already and it's like okay well it's true that you have to do work on yourself if you're in a relationship or not yeah but like you learn so much and you can align so quickly when you're with that destiny partner as well you know it doesn't have to be that you have to be perfect because you're never gonna be like <laughs> not really so allow yourself to take that leap of faith and and to go into it to go into that experience let yourself have that experience is what i feel like saying 2022 for group three eight of fire i see you moving house <laughs> okay empress has been consistently on the back of the deck so i'm pulling her out and the hermit's there as well <laughs> empress Fertile new beginnings. Nine of air. Transforming negative self-talk into self-compassion with that uh, perfectionism stuff, right? Having that compassion, which is that mother energy, maternal energy. Loving yourself. Think about how the Divine Mother would speak to you about things. She would be so loving and caring and compassionate and she would see how much you're striving and how much work you're doing. She wouldn't be like, yeah, I guess it's okay, but da -da 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 -da, you haven't done this. Da -da -da -da. No, that's so mean. <laughs> Think about, consider your inner child, this part of you that sits within, you know, how would you speak to a child in front of you? How would you speak to a four-year-old? Would you be like, you're a piece of shit, you know? Of course not. You would be so caring and gentle and you would be like, hey, you know what? You've been doing so well. You've been working so much. I see you slow and steady working towards your goals and I'm so proud of you. And maybe we can improve in these areas. Maybe not even needing to improve in these areas. But that gentleness, that love frequency. Eight of fire. I see you moving house. It could be that you're traveling potentially as well movement though change is coming for you if you've been feeling stagnant and you're like when is it ever gonna change and feeling um overwhelmed by the sameness of your life <laughs> big change is coming for you in 2022 so don't even worry and please spirit saying please have compassion for yourself in terms of your thoughts and all these things as you're going through these major changes um have compassion for yourself how can you mother yourself how can you mother yourself and that might be kind of foreign thing but one of the ways that i really w work to heal that negative self-talk and that never good enough never good enough kind of stuff was that to imagine a little child being inside of me literally all of the time and how would i speak to myself if there was a little child there you know would i be harsh of course not would i you know would I be cruel? No, you know, <laughs> it's, it's, it's so simple, but it's like, think about how we actually talk to ourselves most of the time. And it's appalling, you know, it's absolutely appalling. <laughs> All right, I need some water. All right, 2022 for group three, this card, sacred space. Interesting, I'm just gonna pull one more and then we're gonna get into it. 
blossoming. <laughs> you are just getting started. So have patience with yourself and the process and do not give up. All right. Hmm. You know this already. It's what I feel. You are blossoming and you're going to be a beautiful flower that's going to shine bright in this earth and make a huge difference on this planet. You are. But think about it, it's just like when something's growing in the garden, there's a seed growing in the garden. Is that seed gonna grow faster if you go in and you keep digging it up and looking at it and be like, fuck, it's not growing yet. Ah. Or you try to pull on it once it starts to go up, it starts to shoot up and you start pulling on it and being like, come on, hurry up. That's gonna damage the, the growth of that plant. You know what I mean? So patience, <laughs> I feel you being triggered even me saying patience, but Having patience because slow and steady does win the race. Consistency is key. Consistency is key. And you can't be consistently, you know, forcing things. That's not going to be sustainable long term. You have to approach things in a way that's sustainable over the long term. Sacred space. Create an altar or visit a power place to connect with the divine. I think this is also saying that you might be outgrowing certain people, places and things and that your space is sacred and allow that to fall apart, fall apart yeah. or fall away, even if it feels, you know, sad or scary to be more alone. You're clearing space for the new to come in on every level of your life. I see with the with the Empress here as well, I see this like replenishment energy, this new energy coming in for you, like in every area of your life, work, love, home, community, uh, relationships, you being authentic, you speaking up in certain ways, all these different things coming through really strong. <laughs> all right, let's do... One more. Ah, that's hilarious. You got new love coming in. I think you already knew that. And forgiveness. Okay, so forgiveness. I feel like this is the way that I'm reading this. You know, take it or leave it, but this is how I'm feeling it. The need to forgive or at least partially forgive your mother or your father for certain ways that they, you know, chose to be in your life or... Uh, chose not to be in your life right because you have this new love coming in and you don't want any resentment um, clouding your ability to relate through your heart space to this new person because if we have a huge amount of resentment and we haven't forgiven mom or dad for whatever it was that they did or didn't do you know it can be really unfair on our partner you know and and I see that you really want this new love and I see that it's aligned to you and I see that you've got this fertile energy that's, you know, not fertile like you're going to have a kid, but like fertile as in, well, maybe for some people, but fertile as in, you know, you're ready for the new. You're like, yes, I've tended to my soil and I'm ready for my like plants to grow. <laughs> so remembering that like holding on to resentment towards yourself or another, you know, or hating someone like it doesn't serve it only hurts you and it's a process like I said it doesn't have to be full forgiveness because sometimes that that's gonna be maybe even not even in this lifetime who knows but it's about just doing that work to release some of that energy that you might be holding towards mum or dad is what I'm feeling okay or it might be like a brother or something like that okay group three looks like you have an amazing year coming up I wish you all the best for 2022 and I send you lots of love I'll